We have got packs, we have got icon player picks, we have got everything and more. Let's open it all up and see what we can get. If you guys are looking for cheap, fast and reliable ultimate team coins, check out MMOEXP.com. Link in the description, save 5% using code HABER. We're starting off with my 93 plus greats of the game of footies icons. I don't know why I still bother doing these. It's always terrible. Maybe today we get lucky. Always is already owned duplicates that I... I'm not excited about or Pavel Nedved, who's not a duplicate. I'm just not excited about him. That's awesome. Thanks, EA. We're so grateful. 83 times 100 pack EA. Please cook for us. The odds aren't looking great, actually. I thought they'd release a guaranteed footies pack, but we've not actually had one in the store, uh, which quite surprised me. This is the best odds you can get. It's like 15% chance for a normal footies and then that like halves for a premium and then halves again for an icon. So... The odds of getting a footies is really not very high in these at all. We just want fodder. And we've not really had a huge amount of it. I mean, three team of the seasons is okay for fodder. But like, that's, yeah, no, that's actually not that good at all, to be honest. I'd probably stay away from this pack. All right, we're going for it again. We do get a footies in this 83 times 100 pack. We've got ourselves Ugarte's 94 rated. Who is going to be the footies though? Zaha, brilliant. It's a May United... Past and future pack, maybe? Probably not. Uh, 97 Zaha. This card is so common. I've seen so many people pack this card. I imagine he's probably super duper cheap. Let me see how cheap he is. About 70k. It's actually probably a bit more expensive than I thought. Um, what else we got in there, though? We've got ourselves Rasmus Hoyland. Past, present, future United pack. No? Nobody? Cool. Uh, anything else? We have got ourselves... Uh, I mean... Yeah, not ideal, is it? Not ideal at all. I think I, I think I will take my own advice and stay away from these 83 times 100 packs. EA also gave us one measly 85 times 10. Not happy about this. I want them to be repeatable, but until that time, we'll take one, I guess. Um, so let's see what we get in our first 85 times 10 of what will hopefully be repeatable in, I would say, the next week or two. That's when you know it's like silly season when we get unlimited repeatable 85 times 10s. So we've got ourselves Eddie Militao and Otamendi. That's who we've got. What else have we got in there? Anything interesting behind those two? Mm, I'll be honest with you, like, I wouldn't be surprised if the 84 times 10s are going to be better than that, to be fair. Um, yeah, let's go, have a, let's go and have a gander at these 84 times 10s. So 85 times 10 down, we've got eight, five 84 times 10s. Let's see what we get. We're going to start off with probably a Bakayo Saka, I think. I'm just going to skip it, to be honest. I don't really care. I'm at the point now where if it's not... Ooh, actually, Robert Lewandowski's 94 rated. I'm at the point now where if it's not like a footies or a team of the season or a team of the year, I'm kind of not interested. I'm just skipping it, really. I am going to go exchange these, though. Exchanges exchanged. Let's open the next 84 times 10. Is that make your mark? We've got Essien. No, we haven't. We've got Abadi Pele. Wait, which one? I'm guessing the non-footies version. We have a make your mark behind him. Mittelstadt. I mean, these are high-rated cards. Can't complain too much with it. However, not exciting. I'm not going to lie. I really actually thought that was team of the year, Essien. <laughs> okay, we've got to make your mark again. Is it Mittelstadt again? It better not be. Is that Modric? A gold card? Don't be Maxi Mittelstadt. Please, EA. Be someone different. Who's the best one you can get? I'm pretty sure uh, Shermany's impact, isn't he? Who is that? That is Oshan, 94. I mean, like I said, the ratings class. Put that into a Yaya Torre squad. All right, we have got two of these 84 times 10s left. We do get a footies card. Let's go. England central attacking midfielder from AC Milan. So we've got team of the season, Ruben Loftus-Cheek. And a footies Ricken. I already have him, unfortunately. But I'll take the team of the season, Loftus-Cheek. And this 95 rated fodder. So I can't complain too much about that. The card itself actually looks okay. If you had five star skills, I think I'd be a bit more excited by it. Right, and the last 84 times 10. Let's hit the back-to-back, -back, please, EA. No, we get ourselves a Copper America card. We've got ourselves team of the season. No, we have company. I thought it was going to be team of the season for Tongan. We've got company, who's not the footies version, obviously. And then Mikhail Antonio. Yeah, brilliant. Right, now we've got two batch two historical encore player picks. I don't even know. I mean, that is just atrocious, isn't it? I'm going to discard it and recover that Berbatov. I actually don't know what the best card you can get in this is. I'm pretty sure Team of the Year R9 and Team of the Year Mia Ham aren't even in this. So I don't know who the best card you can get in this, but we'll open it anyway and see what we get. Wow, that's exciting. That, yeah, that's worth it. 
Yep. All right. Stupidly enough, I went back to the uh, 83 times 100 pack. I don't know why. But we have got a team of the year. Please be Ronaldo or Van Dijk. Yes! Finally! Let's go! Ooh, finally! Oh, I'm actually... I know I shouldn't care. There's a 99 footage Ronaldo out. Whatever. But, like, I don't know why... But something about packing Team of the Ronaldo, first of all, so exciting, even in August, right? But also, like, I, I collect cards on this game at this stage of the year. I think a lot of people do. I don't think I'm alone on that. And this is one that I, I have opened so many player picks. I've opened so many batch two player picks. I've opened so many packs. And I haven't got him. And we finally got him. So I'm actually really happy about that. And we also got, like, Jezzinho and Ricken and that in there as well. So that's pretty good. Um... So, yeah, no, I'll take that. That's solid. Now, I guarantee now that I've got him, I'm going to go get him loads now as well. But, yeah, really happy about that. Finally, we get ourselves Team of the Ronaldo. Finally. All right, so here's what I've done now. I've gone and built 10 of the 92 plus player picks just to see what they're like. Now, I've specifically used Path to Glories, Make Your Marks, and Team of the Tournaments in the odd footies card here or there, in the hopes that they're not all just duplicates. Now, I do have some still on the account, and apologies, I look like absolute rubbish right now as well because I've just been to football all day. Obviously, I'm a bit sunburnt because I don't wear sun cream for some reason. Um, anyway, let's do these anyway and see what we get. So, fingers crossed, I mean, Rasmus would have been a good start. I'm hoping for, obviously, some of the 99 footies cards. I'm hoping for some some good cards in general. I don't really know. I've kind of forgot what we even have as options here. I'm just hoping for the best. The best stuff, really. Uh, so, fingers crossed we can get some of the best stuff. And so far... I mean, I'm not going to... That Rasmus technically is the best card we've had so far. But, mm, I mean, yeah, we'll count it, I guess. Rasmus is so far the best card that we've had. These do not look great. I'm not going to lie to you. I do think EA have dropped these as a kind of IQ test. I mean, 98 Danny Carvajal is not bad. I'm not going to lie to you. I almost took Xhaka for getting that Carvajal's 98 rated. Um, I do think these are a bit of an IQ test, though. I can't believe this card's not... Uh, this 98 rated card's a million coins, by the way. That's insane. I didn't realize he was that much. He only has three playstyle pluses, EA. How is he a mil? I mean, to be fair, his stats are insane. Um, I do feel like these are a bit of an IQ test, though. And the reason why I say that is because... At the moment, if you open a bunch of 81 plus player picks, you get high rated cards. You can put them into the exchanger and effectively do infinite player picks by just exchanging the high rated cards and then re-rinsing re it again. Like, it is it is effectively infinite. I've been doing it now for a couple of weeks. Now. I know a lot of people that have been doing it for a couple of weeks now. Um, these are kind of there to bait you into doing these instead. So that you go and put your fodder into these and you're not doing infinite player picks. And then hopefully you run out of fodder and you're then sort of made to use the store. That's kind of how EA work. And unfortunately, idiots like me are are putting our fodder to these. But it's the, like, I just think like the payoff is huge, you know? Like you could get 99 Ronaldo, even though we have had... Pretty much awful cards bar Danny Carvajal, Rasmus Hoyland. And I mean, Tyler Adams is not bad as well. He's only about 30k though. Um, but yeah, out of 10, if we didn't get Danny Carvajal, I'd be upset. Carvajal is obviously, you know, one of the best right backs in the game and an insane card. So that's that's great. And he's a million coins. So we're happy about that. But it's just, it's not that great, is it? Bar that and a Rasmus Hoyland, that's pretty awful. That is, that, that, that's, I mean, let me know in the comments down below if you disagree, but I would stick to doing exchanges if I were you. All right, now we are doing a halftime premium pack, I think. We just got Ricken, I believe, which means this is going to be Oblak or Danny Olmo. Hopefully he's Danny Olmo. 98 rated fodder would be good right now. I've got a lot of SBCs on the go. Hey, go on, Danny Olmo. I'll take that. 98 rated. At the very worst, it's good fodder. I already have him. Uh, I think he's still worth a good amount, though. Like, it's actually a really good card still. Uh, in there, we've also got Joao Neves. We have got Cadiz Nuts. We have got... Re Whoa! Someone called Magic Gamer. Oh, my. Well, look at this. We've got the double Rickon pack. Where's Morty when you need him? Sorry, that was a really bad joke. But that's pretty cool. We've got two Rickons in one pack. That's pretty awesome. That's what I like to call awesome sauce right there. Um, 
Dan Elmo is worth what? About 150-ish K. I mean, I'll take it. It's 98 rated for though. I'm going to put him into the Ayatora SBC anyway. And uh, hopefully that'll be done in a minute as well. 